Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import an IIF file into Xero. So first off, what is an IIF file? So there's a picture of one on the screen now which shows you it is a text format, but it's not a conventional text format that you might see if you're familiar with importing or uploading into Xero at the moment. The format itself was designed for importing into QuickBooks Desktop and contains formatting that makes it difficult to upload into Xero. But with a desktop import utility called Z-Axis, you can translate these files and upload them into Xero. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So I've opened a copy of Z-Axis on my desktop, and now I'm going to connect to my Xero company file. So I select Xero and click the Connect button. So Axis opens up and we begin the authorization process for Xero. So we collect connect to Xero and we'll copy these three tokens into the screen showing in Z Axis. So pasting those details into the connection dialog here and click save. And now we're connected to Xero. So we're clicking on the import tab and we're going to browse to the IIF file that we're going to import into Xero. Click open and Axis will open the contents of the IIF file in this screen here. Now we can see this is stripped back and made a lot simpler and we can go through a process of actually extracting what information we need from this and mapping that to the corresponding field in Xero. So we create add new mapping and we'll go through this process of matching up the zero field to the corresponding field in the IIF file. So in this example, I have contact name is against the, the name column, the description against the memo, quantity, price, item, account, amount, the date of the invoice, the due date, the invoice reference number, and we've also added in a field called status. If you're unsure of any of these fields or what to map, we do have detailed support articles on our website which will describe that in detail. So once we've created that mapping, we give it a name and we can save that. So we can reuse that on subsequent imports. Now I click save. And you'll see that now we can only see the columns that we've mapped and the one, the data that we're going to be bringing into Xero. So once I'm ready, we can click on the import tab. Now Axis will create any contact names that are missing or any item codes that are required to be created in Xero before importing that invoice directly in. And once the import is completed, you'll see um, the status has now changed to imported. So we can now switch to Xero and see that invoice as it's been imported directly from the IIF file into Xero. So back in Xero, I'm going to go and see the invoices. And here we have an example of that IIF file that we've created for Xero. So very simply, that's how you can import IIF files into Xero using Z-Axis software.